Alright, I'm back with another Destiny 2 video and we're doing something a little different today. I decided to figure out if I could do something with face cam because uh, this is otherwise going to be probably extremely boring. Uh, I, <laughs> I thought before everything kicks off tomorrow I would do some spring cleaning of my vault and kind of talk through my thought process of what I save and what I delete with my nearly constantly full vault. Uh, I'm not saying I do the right thing when it comes to that, but <laughs> uh, I am uh, kind of set in my ways and I rarely um, have more than 50 free spots. Uh, I'm hoping being on camera will, will kind of shame me into deleting more than I would have otherwise. Uh, I don't expect you to agree with my rationale for why I keep everything, but that's why I am. Uh, see, I'm in the tower here and we are celebrating the third place of Titans, apparently, judging by these fireworks. Not really sure what's going on with that. Um, I have my little platinum crown, I think. I think that's platinum. I don't remember. Um, and I didn't really do anything the past week, though, I don't think. So I'm not sure why I have platinum, uh, unless that carries over from a while ago. All right, I am at 491 out of 500, which is actually pretty good for me. Uh, first thing to notice is that, yes, I keep all copies of exotics, even ones that are not up to current power level, in here. I know you can pull them from collections, but I just don't really like doing that. Um, it deletes on the ones that do have kind of enemy counters. It deletes those, I, th I think, and it doesn't save them if you take on a new copy. I think that should just be universally shared across all of them, but uh, I'm, I just like kind of having them handy, and I don't like just knowing that I have one copy of everything in the vault, although as more and more exotics get added, that gets a little crowded. Uh, you will see a lot of sunset things here that... I know are not uh, <laughs> worth saving to some degree, but uh, like some people, I am kind of a sentimentalist when it comes to certain weapons. That includes my beloved Bygones here, which uh, was my trusty, I think this is, I use this a lot in, in PvP at, at some point, but for now, um, I, I killed a, a ton of enemies in PvE with it, at least, you know, that's a solid amount. I'm not like one of those people that has like 50,000 kills on a single weapon and stuff like that, but for me, this is a lot to kind of stick with one weapon. Uh, I remember using this in, I think Zero Hour was was one of my more memorable times, and I used this paired with a Risk Runner to get my Recluse in my 24-hour grind to whatever rank that was supposed to be. Uh, that was fun too. I'm not going to do this with every weapon, that'll take forever, but <laughs> uh, here's a Sunset Pillager that I'm saving, and then we just kind of get into... Some things that like I know I'm I, I haven't used, but like they still seem good, like Chattering Bone. I'm hoping that someday we can get a lightweight buff to uh, fusions and or not fusions, pulse rifles, and then full auto rampage seems kind of good there. Uh, Transfiguration scouts maybe get buffed someday, so Outlaw explosive play payload. And like since I don't raid often, I don't have tons of raid weapons, so the ones I do have that are like okay rolls, I like hanging on to. Um, Supremacy, Snapshot, Rapid Hit, I don't know, I saved most, like, at least one copy with a Sniper of Supremacy. Smugglers were 21,000 kills. I used this almost exclusively on my Warlock probably, like, two years ago. I, I, I really loved the sidearm. This is kind of when I first fell in love with sidearms in D2, uh, so I keep this around for sentimental reasons. Uh, Long Shadow, Snapshot, Ambitious Assassin, I think you're going, I just don't know how good that is. Snapshot. Drop Meg, Field Prep, Bite of the Fox. That's my only Bite of the Fox with Snapshot. But that's kind of bad. I don't know. I don't care that much. Um, I know you can pull some stuff out of collections too, like uh, some of the old uh, Pinnacle weapons, but I just, I don't know. I, again, I like saving these, and I can save myself some resources by leaving those. Uh, Horror Story is getting buffed this season because it's a 450. But this roll kind of sucks because it's just outlaw snapshots. But Horror Story is not really a weapon you can get all that often. Uh, so I'm going to keep it for now. Lonesome. I don't really like Lonesome. I've tried to make this work in Crucible, and as you can see, it has poor results. Uh, my Ostringer. Used to love this one. Outlaw Demolitionist. 2,000 kills on that. This one is Snapshot Rampage Drop Mag. Eh, I, I did Masterwork this, but like, I just don't know... I think I can only probably save one Ostringer. I'm hoping this is going to be reissued someday, but and you get a bunch of enhancement cores here. Uh, Revoker, boo. Um, bad juju, do, do, do. Okay, so we have two Blasphemers, Fourth Time, and Swashbuckler. That's actually good for, like, if you hit a bunch of crits with this, it will um, refill it. Quick Draw Rampage on this one. 
kind of a PvP meets PvE role, but I do like the the slug uh, kinetic option, but I do have some heritages. I just don't know if fourth time is actually worth it in the end, so you're going to go. Uh, exit strategy. Yes, I know, it's sunset. Where you took Werewolf. Um, what, is this a 452? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this roll is actually okay. Dynamic Sway Swashbuckler. Uh, I'm curious to see how that will perform. Throwing Knife. I kept one Steel Feather Repeater. That is Sunset. Subsistence Swashbuckler. Ah, I, I love this roll, but like... I, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to keep it for now, just because I only have one copy of, of Steel Feather. Uh, and then I have Rapid Hit Explosive Patron and... A uh, full auto Vorpal patron that are both sunset, but I think I have newer versions of patron that are not sunset, so I don't know uh, if I need it. I'm gonna. Uh, it's like deciding which child to kill. <laughs> it's not, not great. Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> As you can see, this is why I don't delete anything. Okay, I've got three breach lights. A la Rampage, a la Vorpal. This is my one, my big one, Demo of Vorpal, which sounds weird, but I used to use it on my Trick Sleeves uh, Hunter, so it had full um, readiness and reload speed, which I loved. And it could like it could shred bosses like surprisingly well uh, in most contexts, which was great. A la Vorpal, a la Rampage. Eh, all right, I'll delete this one just because <laughs> I already have one Vorpal. Cold Front, Surplus Rampage, that was a fun roll on that. Um, so I used this a ton back in the Warmind Cell era, which I guess is currently still going on. Th I used this on my War Rig uh, Titan, so I had Fourth Time and Feeding Magazine, so this you pretty much never had to reload this. I really like this, I'm like, I'm like, and it's not even Sunset, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, Ambitious Assassin, Time Payload, this was fun. You can get like 20 in the mag, and Time Payload is really good when it is hand cannon uh, anti-champion season. Uh, because you can, it, it's really good, especially for like overload and stuff, because it, it stuns things very well. Uh, auto loading, killing wind, astral. No. Sometimes, like, if I just, I get so few trials weapons, I just like throw them in here <laughs> um, and just don't really consider it, like, how they are. All right, so this is my only quick draw astral, so I have to save that. I'm not good at shotgunning, but I want to save this. This could be a good PvE roll, potentially, so I'm going to save that. Full auto snapshot, the scholar. Eh, that's my only one. All right, fine. Snapshot rangefinder, dire promise. I don't. I'm not like a big hand cannon person, um, but I know that is a pretty good roll there. I really liked this uh, escape velocity Zen Vorpal. I uh, use that a lot um, pretty recently, so one copy of that. I'm gonna save it. Uh, Zen rampage friction fire. It's my only copy of that. Guiding sight. All right, I have three guiding sights. These are just duplicates. Um, what does this have? LA appended. Wait, that's the same one. Nope. Uh, and then armor piercing, light mag. Mm. I'm going to go with the light mag one. We'll see. All right, I've got two steady hands, outlaw, swashbuckler, and then quick draw iron drip used to be good. Not so much anymore when quick draw doesn't work as well, but I don't really know how that's going to feel, so I'm going to save it. Iron Grip is, um, is this the oh, stability that costs reload speed? Eh. All right, I'm going to leave that for now. I have two high albedos, uh, Ambitious, which gets like 50-something in the mag with Wellspring, and then Surplus Wellspring, which is very um, kind of interlocking and nice. <laughs> All right, now we come to the stupid part, where I have pretty much a Hawk Moon with every possible thing on it from all the weeks I've run this. I think it's all of them with no repeats. I don't, all right, I know some people like Eye of the Storm, but I don't, and I'm not gonna use it. Um, snapshot, compared to the other ones, I don't care enough about. And then Quick Draw is getting nerfed, so I don't care about that either. And I don't really use hand cans that much to begin with, so Range Finder's good, Opening Shot's good. Uh, killing one could be good. Moving target's pretty good. All right, I'm going to keep those. Overflow Rampage and Subsistence Swashbuckler on False Promises. Subsistence is getting a buff. I'm going to keep that around. I really did like the overflow, uh, the overflow roll on this, which was fun. Um, I really like this bow. That's a 3,000 kill bow. Uh, or just Temple Swashbuckler. I'm not using it that much right now, but it's still really good. Um, killing one Headseeker. I use this in Crucible a tiny bit. I don't love it. Um, 
beating Frenzy Swashbuckler. I I don't know. I feel like Killing Wind is not the best on that. I'm probably just going to delete this. So I have another one here. All right, Forward Path, Feeding Frenzy, Iron Grip, and then Dynamic Sway, Iron Grip. Um, yeah, I don't know. Feeding Frenzy got nerfed, and it's it's okay, but I already have this one masterworked. I'll just leave it. All right, saved a bunch of messengers. Um, I don't... So I have I have my Desperado, my other Desperado ones uh, on my characters right now. Headseeker is pretty good on this um, because it's of the archetype, but Outlaw, one for all, I don't... I don't think that's very good. I'm not going to use that in PvE, really. A um, bunch of Time War Inspires. Again, I have some of these on my characters already. Moving Target, Iron Grip. I keep running where Grip is. Stability. Eh, I probably don't need that. And then I Masterwork this one. Subsistence Warp. Well, yeah, Subsistence is actually kind of interesting on this. I like that one. Uh, moving Target, One for All. Eh, one for All on a Pulse. I don't love. I will keep this, the other Subsistence one for now. Quick draw iron grip, quick draw nerf, going away. Dynamic sway iron grip, that's really stable. I like that. Killing wind iron reach. Isn't iron reach is like so these are all getting buffs, but like range of the cost of stability for an SMG does not really go well in practice. I don't know. I'm gonna delete that one. And then I have another one in any case, so I don't like that either. I just I don't know. Alright, so then I have a bunch of Dead Man's Tails. I have um, some of these on my characters already. I believe I already have uh, a fourth time on one of my characters, but I will check that later. I'll leave these for now. Now we just get into sentimental stuff. Um, this is my oh, like Kill inaugural dress, which uh, is just such a fun role on that, even though it's sunset and I do not have tons of weapons from this raid, so this is, is fun, um, even if I'm not really using it. These are the two weapons I got during my uh, flawless Trials of the Nine run with M Dash and Frostbolt a million years ago. And I know they're not good, but this is kind of sentimental value stuff I just want to hold on to. A bunch of exotics. Age old Bond. It's a fun auto rifle. Uh, I, I kind of like tap the trigger dragonfly on it. I know that's not like a good roll per se, um, but it's okay. Uh, if you hear noises, Evie is chewing on things. But you always tell me you can't hear it, so I will let her keep chewing. <laughs> um, Nation of Beasts, Allah Dragonfly. Great roll, love that gun. Um, drop mag, Zen moment, kill clip. Eh. I'm gonna delete that one. I don't think I need that one. I have a sunset vouch safe. Um, that I think this is the curated roll. Dragonfly Zen moment. I. I don't know. I don't think this is very good. Did they reissue this? I don't think they did. But um, I think I'm just gonna delete this. I don't think I need it. So we're already down to 470. We're doing good. Uh, I promise the armor pages will go faster. So this one, uh, quick draw is getting nerfed, so that won't be very useful anymore. Under pressure, tap the trigger. That's a lot of stability on a sardine, which I like. Uh, Luna's Howl, my only my meters, quick draw, <laughs> even though it's sunset. Should probably hold on to that. Um, you can just move your horn over there. There you go. No feelings. I really like this. This is a, a very sick roll. I know it's sunset, but I don't want to get rid of that. Um, pinnacle, 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 pinnacle. And now we get into my gnawing hunger collection and subsistence rampage. So this was always a sick roll. I really loved this. It, we, I mean, during the season when gnawing hunger was like super dominant, it was amazing. Um, this is Zen. It's okay. Zen kill clip. Kill Clip, when once Kill Clip is triggered on this, it just shredded during that one season, but these days, eh, probably not, so. Um, I have a Drang in here. I, I don't know, if, I don't know what type of Drang you can pull from collections now, I'm just going to leave that for now. Uh, Beloved, uh, the Snapshot Box Breathing one. Box Breathing is not like great for PvE, but I can't delete my only Beloved. Uh, Hush, Pinnacle, Ancient Gospel, Rapid Hit Dragonfly, that's a fun roll, I like that. Reckless Orgle, Mulligan, Triple Tap. It's a lot of ammo, but that's not a very good roll. I think I just put it in here for no real reason. Feeding Frenzy Backup Plan. Um, I've used this before. It's it's pretty fun. I haven't like masterworked it or anything. Python. Uh, that's uh, Katie's favorites, but I will leave that um, for now as I leave all my pinnacles. Point of the Stag, another pinnacle. Archers of Warple. Sunset Last Hope. Oh, man. Three kills on that. I don't have, this is like, I have a lot of kills in this, but I don't have a ton of sentimental attachment to it. Uh, so I'm probably going to get rid of it. By probably, I mean, I just did. And Seventh Seraph. 
I never really loved this. It did. It does create Warmind cells, which is fine, but like, I don't know. Demo of Warpool, full auto of Warpool. I feel like on the single shots, you really do need uh, full auto to make them feel good, so I'll delete this one. Seventh so Seraph, auto loading Vorpal, use this a ton on my Warmind Cell build, I'll keep that. Ambitious Assassin, Dragonfly, Drop Mag, fourth time Dragonfly. Fourth time is not very good on SMG, so I'm gonna kill that. Uh, Zen Rangefinder Summoner, that's fun. Underdog Dragonfly Summoner, no, okay, I don't know why I have this. <laughs> um, under Pressure Rangefinder Coriolis Force, I literally like this gun, it's not good on PV, uh, PvE because, or PvP because it's horizontal line instead of vertical, so you just are bad at hitting people with it, but um, it's fun. I'm going to keep that in case fusions get a buff. Yeah, Ambitious, Stephanie Whisper, that's my only one, so I'm going to save that. Uh, killing when Rampage Posterity, this is, this is the only good Posterity roll I got with my sick one Crucible kill I'm tracking. Um, that's a good gun. Outlaw Redirection, that's a fun roll. I don't know how amazing it is. A Reconstruction Eye of the Storm. I think I was using this in PvP for Eye of the Storm, but I know that's not actually a good roll. Royal Chase, Full Auto Thresh. Um, this is, I really like how this gun feels, and this is my only one I saved, I believe, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, firmly Planted, Kill Clip. I know Firmly Planted was supposed to be like really good on this, because I watched that one, I think it was an Cross video about that, so I kept this. Surplus Headseeker and Feeding Frenzy Headseeker. I don't know. I feel like neither of these are quite that good, but I'm going to delete this one, because I don't think Feeding Frenzy is very good. In that context, uh, auto loading killing when Xeno class. That's a fun roll. I enjoyed that. Lead from gold, Vorpal. I did want a Vorpal copy of this, so I'm going to keep that. Outlaw Vorpal, subsistence dragonfly. All right, uh, you're going to go. Always want more subsistence uh, in the coming buff here. And then I was like, wait, is that Dead Man's? No, it's Duality. Just similar style there. Uh, love Glacier Chasm. This is the only one I have with high impact which I think is getting a buff now. I, I liked it even before that, so I'm going to keep this around. I think I have a Masterwork one that's better than this, but I don't want to look for it right now. Hollow Words, Feeding Frenzy, Vorpal. A little counterintuitive, because Vorpal's against bosses, Feeding Frenzy's against mobs, but as you can see, I have 1,200 kills on it, so clearly I liked it. And then this one is Killing Wind Vorpal, which clearly I didn't use very much, so I'm going to delete that. Auto Loading Quick Draw here, Feeding Frenzy Multi Clip here. Mmm... I guess Quick Draw is still good on this because you can just hip fire it most of the time, and that has blinding grenades on it. This does not, this is proximity. Yeah, these are both good for different reasons, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, fourth time Rangefinder. So this is, I don't, fourth time's whatever, but Rangefinder on this is kind of sick, so um, I'm going to keep the Rangefinder one. This is the only uh, really okay Death Header I got, Feeding Frenzy Rangefinder uh, with a range masterwork, so that's fun. I'm going to keep that. Feeding Frenzy Trench Barrel, do I have another one of these? No, that's my only one. All right, I'll keep it. Uh, we get into a lot of duplicates now. Fourth time, high impact, Aikilos. Triple tap, box breathing, moving target, quick draw. Okay, so this is like the PVP one I didn't use. I don't think this one is. You're the odd man out here. Uh, Aikilos, 1300 kills on this. This is my Warmind Solid generating one I used a lot. Um, threat Detector, Vorpal. I hate Threat Detector, I really do. But Vorpal does work on champions, so I've kept that around. I like that. Auto loading Vorpal. This is actually really good. I only haven't masterworked it because it has a reload masterwork with uh, auto loading, which is pointless, but that is actually one of my favorite shotguns. Uh, Salvagers, Imperial Needle, Impulse Frenzy, Impulse Opening Shot. Those are both good for different reasons. Um, and I think I have an Impulse uh, Swashbuckler I just masterworked. Um, but Frenzy's getting a nerf. I don't know. I just like Impulse on this bow so much. I'm going to keep all these. Quick draw opening shot. I swear I got, I have another one of these I, on my person, so I'm gonna delete that. Quick draw moving target. This used to be my great hammer roll, but uh, they're nerfing quick draw. I'm just gonna see how that feels. Subsistence celerity, two perks that are getting buffs. I just wanna see how this feels after that, so I'm gonna leave it. Uh, quick draw one for all, no, that's not good. That. Okay, now we have, what, five Brass Attacks, Feeding Frenzy, Frenzy, Rapid Hit Rampage, Surplus Rampage, Feeding Frenzy, Rampage, Surplus Rampage. Okay, so wait, that's two repeats. All right, I don't care enough about looking at the individual barrels and stuff. Like, one of those is good enough. I just like Feeding Frenzy, Frenzy. That's just a fun roll. Um, rapid Hit Rampage. I don't... Th I don't like Rapid Hit on sidearms very much. Um, I just, I don't think that's that good. I'm going to delete that. 
I think three three brass attacks is enough. All right, here's a normal shadow price. Feeding frenzy one for all. Yeah, that's a good roll. I, it, this isn't adept, but it's got like almost max range. Um, subsistence unrelenting. Those are both getting buffs. We'll see how that goes. Subsistence range finder. Range finder is good if I actually want to use this in like PvP. Quick draw thresh. Well, quick draw is getting nerfed. That's the only reason I kept that in the first place. Uh, overflow one for all. Adept. That's a good roll. I really like that roll too. So I'm saving that. Killing one dragonfly. Eh. Killing one dragonfly again. Eh. And frozen orbit, moving target. Yeah, I just want moving target on that. Quick draw wellspring. I'm just, I'm, yeah, all these quick draws I don't care about as much. Uh, subsistence thresh and quick draw disruption break. I could see that being weirdly situationally useful. I'm gonna keep those for now. Quick draw multi kill clip on trinary system. I have a different trinary system that might be better, but uh, I'll keep that for now. Subsistence multi kill clip. This is kind of a weird combo since those don't really go together, but I uh, eagerly masterwork this for some reason. I don't really know why, but it's my only one, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, I have a few of these. Feeding Frenzy, uh, High Impact, Cartesian, Feeding Frenzy, Swashbuckler. Eh, if I'm doing for High Impact for PvP, I don't think I need this with Feeding Frenzy. Eternal Blazon. I've got like one of these ever, which is this roll, and that's it. So I'm going to keep that for now. I don't know why I have the Braid Tech thing, just sentimental reasons. Uh, same with this. Tracking module, cluster, bad omens. Um, can't delete my old Hammerhead. Love Hammerhead. Love the Strikers. This is not even a good roll, but I want one of those. I just like having that. Three Avalanches, Outlaw Vorpal. Uh, Autoloading Swashbuckler, Surplus Swashbuckler. I don't think surplus is like a machine gun thing, really. Delete that. Oh, Wendigo, I miss you. Edgewise, kind of the most forgotten about pinnacle. <laughs> uh, Line of the Sand needs to be unsunset. This was I've spent forever trying to get this roll, so I feel bad deleting it. Uh, I missed Pyroclastic Flight too. <laughs> You're so loud. I didn't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Go back. Okay. Uh, these all did not get sunset. They were going to Autoloading Vorpal, Clown Vorpal. Clown Firing Line. Okay, Firing Line sounds good, but I never actually use it in practice. Autoloading Full Court Interference. Field Prep Full Court Interference. E field Prep has so many reserves. Eh. All right, I'll delete this one, even though autoloading is good. But Thermal Erosion. I only got one of these that was like, okay, this is... I don't think this is a very good roll, but I'm going to keep that for now. Corsair's Wrath. Outlaw High Impact. I just... I don't know, this is just a fun roll. I know it's not like amazing, but I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, but Quest, I just kept this because it was my only one I got from the raid. Um, probably not a good reason to keep it, but... And then um, Ambitious, Chain Reaction, Crowd Pleaser, that's a pretty good roll. I don't know why I'm not actively using that. Relentless Forpal, Temptation Sook, and Relentless for I don't need two of these. Code Duello, I have so many Code Duellos on my characters. I don't think I need Auto Loading Chain Reaction. Um, I don't, I should have looked if it had impact casing. I don't think it did. Rapid hit Vorpal. I already, I think I already masterworked one of these. Maybe not. Rapid hit Frenzy. I had a triple Frenzy build going that used this, so. I feel like there's, there's too many good rolls besides Frenzy, though. I'm going to leave that out. Uh, Tarantula, moving target, box breathing. I, eh, I don't think that's very good. All right, so now we get to armor. I have at least one copy of all armor exotics, I believe. And then sometimes they double up because I don't know which one to delete. Uh, in this case, probably delete this Assassin's Cowl. And then sometimes I can't decide, so I just don't delete anything. Um, this Fire Smith Mask was just for fashion, uh, but now that is something I can do transmog with. Um... I have one of these on my character. I think I masterworked one that I have on my Titan right now, so I don't need this anymore. And then I have two of these, 63. Oh, these are both kind of good. That's too much strength, though. Nobody needs that much strength. And three of these, and none of these are terribly good. These are all recover rolls, though. That's good intellect, too. All right, this is probably the worst one, even though it's got the most total stats. No intellect, no mobility. Yeah. Um, I hate blink, but these are both bad. Jeez. 
Hey, these are like almost identical. Oh wait, no, I was looking at the wrong ones. Okay, the plus 10, all right, this is just a weird looking roll. I don't like it. <laughs> That's going, okay. Uh, and then I've saved like just relatively high stat um, armor from kind of the past few seasons that, cause you, you automatically get like one full set that has like at least a 60 plus roll on it. Um, this is, I don't even know, this is Hunter with average stats. I just don't think I need that. That's 63 base. It's got mobility, high resilience, Titan helmet. Eh. Iron Remembrance, 15. What was I using this for? I don't know. That can be transmogged. Um, mobility, yeah, another 63 base. Yeah, I guess that was like the thing back then. All right, so I got three fell winners, high resilience fell winners, average and high resilience, and that's. Um, Oh wait, this has a mod on it. So this is a 62. Yeah, so this is bad. I just wasn't paying attention. Dawn Chorus, two of these. 59 but 24 recoves. That's why I kept it. I'll just keep both of those for now. 61 Iron Fellowship Cask. Yeah, that's... don't need that. Uh, 62 with barely any recovery. Oh, but it's, it's okay. I saw you saved it because it's my Moonfang, but now I don't need that anymore. And now you can delete Solstice stuff because that's not important anymore either. Hold fast uh, at 63. Don't need that. The other thing is like things with this symbol and, and older, like you're going to start running into a situation where they can't equip the new mods. So there's no real reason to keep a lot of this stuff around. Uh, Moonfang can transmog. Solstice can transmog. Yeah, it's pretty good stats. Other Solstice can transmog. All right, I've got three Aeon Swifts. I know Aeon got buffed, but uh, probably don't need this much. All right, I don't know. I'm not going to think too hard about this. We're flying through. Not really, but okay. I have, what, four Carapace Stings? Jesus, okay. All right, zero recov on that. That's going. Um, Disciplines. Wait, care piece is what? It's full me melee energy. Okay, you kind of want strength on that. Uh, okay, I'll delete this one too. Okay, save this just because it was... Um, this is so old now though, going to the Great Hunt. I just don't think I need it. That's the kind of thing I'd probably save if you guys weren't watching, but all right, 66, that's a good roll, even if it's mostly resilience. Oh, 30, oh wait, no, that has a mod on it, it's cheating. Um, that is pretty good base recovery, and I'll keep it. <laughs> so, yeah, all right, these are pretty close. These both have terrible recov. All right, e. I'll delete these. It's more double Aeons, that is no recov. And double these. This is pretty spiky. That's a good roll. It's better than this. Oh, wait. Nope, don't lock it. Getaway artist. Alright, that's got a thing on it. So that's that's a 67 base, I think. So that's pretty good. That's got a lot of recov. Alright, I'm just gonna delete this. If you get down to two out of three, that's like success for me. All right, I have four of these. What am I doing? 68 total, though mostly resilience. 61, uh, 65, 62. All right, this is going. Mm, that's a really lame distribution. Okay, now we're getting into the ones that are like pretty high base so if things are like 55 i'm gonna keep or 67 i'm gonna keep 55 i don't know why that's there uh 63 that's pretty spiky i like the look of that uh, double sittings uh there's no recove i don't know those are both not very good <laughs> but i'll keep one uh, seven zero for age of the war mine 62 no recove eh, that's not great what is this? Cryocene? Why do I have this? Why is this here? It's 51. I don't know. So this is why you have to go through things. All right. Triple Ice Falls, 61 with some recove, 62 with no recove. 
What was this one? 64. Okay. I'm probably just going to keep the 64 one. All right. Hold fast at 60. No. Whatever this is at 50, because that has a. This was this rolled at a 50, seriously? Because it's got a plus. Oh, wait, stat penalty. All right. So it was 60 base, I think. Whatever. Um, 60 grips the exile. That is for transmog now. Flying grips coda. Ooh, that's very spiky, but the spike is resilience, so probably don't need that. Uh, Solstice grips. Good stats, but. Oh, wait, it's like a mod on it. Hold fast at 61. Don't need that. Solstice going. Iron Fellowship at 60. Don't need that. I used to say pretty much everything above a 60, which is not super wise, but I'm deleting all the Solstice stuff. Uh, this is a new Trials thing, which is I saved because of the look, but don't need to do that anymore. Double six Coyotes. Uh, yeah. It's like a tiny bit more Recove, but... Frumius Vest? I, what? Oh, it was a 66. That was a good roll at the time, but it's sunset. I just never noticed it. Um, 61, 63, neither of these are good, so you both live... 62, 57. Eh. I'm not going to use any 57 exotic. Come on. Vesper radius, 61, 66. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, there's another one. There's an ornament on it. Oh, this must have been from collections. Uh, Sanguine ultimate. Alchemy, forget about that. Um, better spikes, less recove. I don't care that much. Maybe this will get a super buff someday, but not yet. Uh, well, that's my only... Oh yeah, this is a good roll on the 67, but who uses Chromatic Fire? Phoenix Protocol. I think I have a masterwork version of one of these somewhere already. Oh my god, how many Starfire Protocols do I have? 64, 66, 61. That's going... 64 again, I discipline. 24 Rico, 69. All right, this one probably beats all of them, right? So this one will go. This one will go. I'll save that. This is safe for transmog. Why is this? Oh, yeah, I think I got it when it was sunset, so it drops low. Robes the Great Hunt, transmog. Uh, Gunsmith's Devotion, not sunset, but. Uh, Still, just for transmog, 63, shadows, robes, transmog, 67, keep that for now. Um, it's a high discipline roll. I already have a Masterworks uh, version of that chest. That's way better. I remember it's at 63. Rejuice. Okay. Probably just keep one of these. So many exotics you just forget exist because they're just not remotely in the meta. Seven Seraph at 65, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Iron Will at 64, high mobility, yeah, I'll keep that. Legacy's Oath, this is mostly for transmog. This is for transmog for sure. Iron Fellowship at 64, with that recovery. Flowing Coda, yeah, that's a pretty good roll. Solstice Fest, yeah, 65 Hold Fest, yeah. 60 Iron Fellowship, no. Uh, this is Trials, 65 total, you know, I'll keep that for now. Channeling robes, eh. Solstice robes, nope. Nope, 59. Apparently I have double Solstice plates here. Not sure how that happened. Uh, Nicholas, these are all... I don't know what's going on here. This is a 61. It says no reek of. Eh, whatever, it's fine. Orpheus, I have a masterworked. Yeah, I, I masterworked a pair of stompies somewhere already. So I'll delete one of these at least. Gemini Jester, I have a better one. That is on my hunter. That's my only Frosties. Boots of the Ace Defiant, I don't even remember what this is from. Probably a raid. Uh, Strides the Great Hunt. And my only Phoenix Cradle, two stand asides. That is a base 64. Yeah, I think that's better. 
Mm, loot faction? I don't think I have these master worked. 67 to snap guy. Boots of the Fulminator. Boots of Sacris. Yeah, I just used to save all the raid stuff just so I could have like one complete set of it. Gunsmith Devotion 66. Okay, that's pretty good. Shadows Boots. But now with Transmog, none of that matters. Seventh Seraph at 66. <laughs> the distribution, that was pretty lame. Uh, I, don't, I can't do the math on what the base here is, but I must have put all those mods in it for a reason, so I'll keep it. 66 base, 20 Rico. That's pretty good. Iron Fellowship, no recove. Uh, new Trials Boots, but bad stats. Flowing Boots Coda, 64. That's pretty good. Uh, what is this? 20 Recovery. Oh, it's the uh, Solstice, though. Surprise Attack. What, what was this base? This is like a... Is this a 53? No, there's a bonus on here. I think Holdfast is a good, was a good set, though. So it was like mostly Rico. Legs of the Exile. Yeah, that's okay. 69, so 59 base? No, that's bad. 61, no. Crushing Greaves, no. Solstice. Oh, all right, we can just get rid of pretty much all the class items because they're just literally all transmog and they have no stats. So there is no reason to keep any class items. Forgot about that. I assume you can pull stuff like this from collections. Not that I need to per se, but I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Um, yeah, I just kept one copy of a lot of these for no real reason. I don't think any of my masterwork ones are in here in the first place. Solstice stuff. Okay. Okay, we got down to 334 out of 500. That is the lowest I've been in forever. Uh, I don't think I could have done this without you. Um, and yeah, because I would have saved a lot more stuff probably. And we are still celebrating Titans, but yeah, that was vault cleaning. Very exciting stuff, huh? Uh, what I also have to do is decide the stuff I have on me. Uh, put some of that away or delete it because I don't like going into a season with like eight or seven or eight full slots in each category here because then it makes getting new year a pain but I will spare you that and I will do that some other time uh, why do I have this is quite the loadout I have here for some reason I don't know what I was doing but yep that's it for now um, I will be back tomorrow talking about what will almost assuredly be the season reveal I assume that will be coming at reset tomorrow I don't know if they're going to do a little tease or something today, but we can talk about that on Twitter or something. So thanks for watching, and I hope this video recorded correctly with the face cam and all the audio and stuff. So uh, yeah, I will see you next time.